Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Gavin from Balls to You, and in this video I just want to cover a few things. Uh, I've had a few messages recently regarding incubation temperatures. A lot of people are a bit too over the top, maybe is the correct word. I know you guys, this is your first clutch and you're really excited, you want to make sure everything's right. But what tends to happen is you overthink things. You go and you add as many thermometers and temperature gauges in your incubator as possible. You put them not only in your incubator, but you also put them in the egg boxes. Bear in mind you do have a probe from your thermostat which is controlling the incubator, which I always recommend you place in the middle of the middle if that makes sense. The reason why it's in the middle of the middle is because it allows the temperature to have a even gradient from bottom to the top of your incubator, regardless on whether it's a massive incubator, like a, a, a sort of uh, an incubator, like a freestanding fridge or a walk-in incubator, or just a simple sort of small, you know, polythene box that you're gonna use to incubate those eggs in. Always keep your temperature probe for your thermostat in the middle of the middle. If you guys have like a glass fronted fridge, uh, old drinks display, uh, old drinks cooler, sorry, that you've converted into an incubator, what I've done is I've added three temperature gauges or thermostat gauges or thermometer gauges, whatever you want to call them, on the actual glass front uh, of the incubator. One is at the bottom, one is in the middle, and one is at the top. Again, the probes are placed in the middle, so the top one is in the middle of the top, the middle one is in the middle of the middle, along with my uh, temperature probe for my stat, which is controlling the incubator, and the bottom one is in the middle at the bottom. The reason for this is because incubator is also, it's got a fan inside. What this actually does is the fan helps keep the constant temperature from top to bottom. What most people have been doing wrong is putting a digital thermometer within the egg box. So what tends to happen is you'll have a difference in temperature in the egg box as you will in the incubator. Well, that's where people start to panic. Take that thermometer or digital temperature gauge that you've put in your egg box, take it out, throw it away, okay? You don't need it, guys. It's only going to draw a panic and you're gonna stress more. Take it out, get rid of it. Forget about the temperature in the egg box. The temperature needs to be correct in the incubator. Forget the egg box. Egg box is all about humidity. Keep that humidity as high as possible, up to 100% if possible. The reason being is because the eggs rely on humidity rather than temperature. Not saying that it doesn't rely on temperature, it's just that in the egg box, what's more important is the humidity factor over the temperature. In the egg box, when you've got the eggs in, the egg box will change temperature through the course of the development of the eggs, which will basically change the temperature within the egg box. So again, if you're watching the progress of your eggs with a uh, thermometer or digital temperature gauge, which is in your egg box, you'll see that the temperature will change over the course of the incubation period. What will happen? You will panic. And if you panic, and then obviously you'll start to mesh, you'll start to open the egg box, you'll start to adjust things, and it will just potentially could ruin your clutch. My advice, once you've set your incubator up and you've run it for a week and you know it's holding temperatures fantastic, you've put your eggs in, shut the door, forget about it. I would probably just look at the eggs from the outside, if it's a glass fridge, look at it from the outside, just to make sure that the eggs look genuinely okay. The last Last thing you want to start to do is start messing with the eggs and taking them out, taking the lid off. Just don't do it. There are different incubation methods which are different, but personally, the way I've done it, the way I do it, I've never had any issues. Again, it, it works for me fantastic. I will do another video and I have covered the incubation and the way I incubate my eggs in other videos, but I'll try and do another video just to refresh and recap on what I do. And that's it guys. So don't stress about the temperature in the egg box itself. Just make sure your incubation temperatures are set at 89 degrees Fahrenheit or 31.6 degrees Celsius. That's what I find is a happy medium. And again, 55 days, pretty much you'll start to see them hatch out. You can go a little bit higher or a little bit lower. I've always found 89 degrees Fahrenheit, 31.6 degrees Celsius tends to be the happy spot for the eggs to go through. Day 55, you should start to see pippage. If not, it's safe to cut on day 55. So I hope this helps. Hope this answers a lot of questions for you guys out there. Again, guys, thanks for your 
support. Thanks for everything. Hope you're all well. Take care and I'll speak to you guys soon.